option for you to try. Take a look. Today I'm going to show you the Lazy Man's Rotisserie Chicken. It's the beer can chicken. Simply done, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt, pepper, and your favorite spice mix. Rub down your bird, give him a nice massage, then the world famous beer can. Now, if you don't like beer, you can use white wine, Chardonnay chicken, you can use lemon juice. You can actually put peppercorns, bay leaves, anything you want in there that's going to infuse the bird. But just put about a third of, of the beer can. I like using a tall boy because it makes the chicken stand up a little higher in the barbecue. The secret to the perfect beer can chicken is indirect heat. You need a large enough barbecue and you want one side on. These two burners are on full blast. My beer can chicken is on the other side. He's been in for about an hour. This guy's going to settle up right beside him. Now the idea behind it is the heat comes up and it spins. And what it does is it gives the bird a perfect caramelized feel and then the heat from inside also poaches the flavoring liquid which cooks the bird from the inside out. Think of it as an outdoor oven. If you're doing direct heat on burgers, it's okay to have the lid up. But if you're trying to roast something and cook something at a lower temperature for a longer time, leave the lid down. After 35 to 45 minutes, you'll know it's ready when the wings are ready to fall off. They're nice and crispy. The legs are starting to break away and it's got a perfect, perfect tan. You can see this one's got about another 30 minutes to go.